Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Ali and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your 3D character creators sleep on the bed. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. I'm going to go into my backgrounds and go to uh, 3D. Then we're going to pick up the bedroom that we need to start with. So drag and drop it onto the scene just like that. And then I'm going to extend it in the timeline. So we're going to keep this whole thing for 20 seconds like this. And our next step is to go into the character creators, uh, pick Tom, drag and drop him onto the canvas. You're more than welcome to try any character you want. Just follow along step by step and you can use any character you want. But know that the only ones that are going to work exactly how you're going to uh, see them in this video are the 3D creators because they have 360 degree uh, rotation, uh, which gives you a lot of flexibility, unlike the other 3D characters. All right, now we've got this covered. What we want to do next is we want to go into uh, the settings on the right panel for Tom and then scroll a little bit down and find where it says properties, click that. And then what we want to do is we uh, need to flip Tom into the other direction. So we do this horizontally. And then I'm also going to choose one of his uh, presets. So I've got this designed and I'm going to change his action from idle to working on MacBook. So I'm going to scroll through and then find where it says working on MacBook. I'm also going to extend this guy a little more, maybe for about 10 seconds or so. And then we want to add another action. So we're going to click on add new where it says add new actions. And then this time we're going to choose sleeping, right? The next thing we want to do is we want to disable start and end animation uh, for the working on MacBook. And then we want to disable the end animation for the sleeping action because we want Tom to stay sleeping the whole time until the end of the video. So how we do this is very simple where it says working on MacBook on the characters track in the timeline. We click that to open up the little panel right there. And then where it says disable start, we turn that on as well as disable end. And then we also need to click on the sleeping um, uh, button that shows on the characters track as well to open up the little uh, panel. And then we want to disable end right there, right? Once we do that, we want to drag Tom and then position him on the bed right there. We're also going to need to click on the rotate button that shows above the character uh, right there to get into the rotation mode. So then we can simply just rotate him to make sure that he is going to be looking the, you know, in the right angle, uh, sitting on that bed just like that. Once we're done, we need to click on the rotate uh, button again to exit the uh, rotation uh, mode like this. And we may want to scale him down just a little bit like that, something like this. And he looks just fine. And then the next thing we want to do is extend the sleeping action. Make sure that this guy is lined up perfectly with the background, just like that. And then what we want to do next is uh, we're going to move our playhead right at the very beginning of the sleeping action, because this is what happens. He gets off, like he throws the MacBook, MacBook away like this, and then he gets off of it, then turns into sleeping just like that. So as you can see right now, it looks funny because he's sleeping in the air, right? And that's just unnatural. So what we're going to do to make it look really natural is we're going to have our playhead right on the little square that separates between the working on MacBook and a sleeping action. Then we're going to select our character, click on add animation above the timeline right there. And then from the properties, we're going to choose three properties. These are going to be position, scale, and we're also going to do a character view. And then we want to click on the easing tab and choose linear for both in and out. Now, the best speed for this type of animation to get him to turn from sitting on the, the bed into sleeping is to uh, keep the animation for seven frames or eight frames, I guess. So what we're going to need to do is we will use our forward, uh, frame forward buttons on the timeline right there. Uh, we're going to click eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're going to zoom into our timeline drag the second keyframe to where our playhead is at just like this make sure it is selected and turned into blue and then all we're going to do is we're going to drag the uh, playhead forward in time just like this and simply just resize tom first of all like this to make sure he's in the correct size on the bed we're also going to need to click on the rotation or the rotate button above the character again just to get him to look in the right angle sleeping on that bed 
So just make your adjustments until you feel that he looks just right. And then when you're done, you want to click on the rotate uh, button again to exit the rotation mode. Make sure that you keep fine tuning the position of him and the size if you want to. And then when done, go back and select the second keyframe again, just to be sure that he's just gonna be there exactly where you want him to be. So now when I move my playhead forward in time, look at that. He's, uh, he turned from sitting on, on, on the bed into sleeping right there got it so let's just go ahead and watch this from uh, you know a little bit early in time right there while he's still working on the macbook press play and see what it looks like so there you go he's uh, still working on his macbook then he's just going to turn and sleep on the bed just like that i hope you found this helpful now as far as my surprise i'm actually giving away this template so all you gotta do is click on the link in the description download the link and um, you know have it as your own uh, thank you so much for watching and be sure to watch my latest two tutorials about getting tom to walk in different directions using the character view animation and then i have another tutorial that also teaches you how to make tom enjoy his adventure inside create studio 3. Uh, and until then i'll see you on the next one Me